Hello and welcome back. Thanks so much for being here. If you're new, my name's Bella. I'm 16 years old and I live on a sailboat sailing the world with my family. You say take me on a treasure hunt. I long for something new. Have you heard the fairies when they sing and dance? We are leaving Refugio Island today, sailing 100 miles to Puerto Finasco, where we'll be hauling out Catalpa 2 for the first time. Well, this isn't our first time being on the hard stand. We've pulled out Catalpa 1 multiple times, and um, yeah, we know it's slack on the hard stand, but this will be the first time seeing Catalpa 2's bottom out of the water. So yeah, let's set off on a 100 mile passage to Puerto Penasco where we'll get to see Catalpa's butt. Let's go. All right, what was your favorite bit of the sea, Cortez? Favorite place? Where we went away. Do you want to say? Oh yeah, we'll Favourite place in the Sea of Cortez was standing beside my beautiful wife in paradise. It's not a good decision making. Uh, I think I agree with the kids. I really liked um, Iris, Iris B2. Iris, Espiritu Santos Island. I just spat. And no, I don't pronounce things properly. Espiritu Santos and Vico. A new place, a new home for a while. Let me feel alive. Nothing to hold me back. Take my time, just enjoy the ride. No man passing by, life is good, best I've ever felt. Get me up, so in, so where I can find myself. Oh, I feel, I feel, I feel, I feel so alive. As I reach out, reach out, reach out, reach out to the In the dark against it all, but made it through the day. Cause I found my way, I found my way. In bad times, I know I'll be okay. Cause I found my way. Hard lift. So it is haul out day. We are hauling out the boat today. We are sitting in the little area, just waiting to be hauled out. couple of days after we got hauled out I didn't really film anything so I'm just gonna explain it 
So we got hauled out and we were still on the machine in the slings for the first two days. But for those first two days, we stayed in a hotel because it was super hot and we wanted some aircon just chill before we had to get into the boat works. So yeah, we then got put in our permanent spot on the hard stand and taken out of the slings. And we tried to stay one night on the boat without aircon. It was so hot and pretty torturous couldn't use anything really on the boat we didn't have power and couldn't use the toilets so yeah it wasn't that great so then we decided to book an airbnb for the first month of doing boat works because yeah it was just going to be a little bit torturous and we decided that we might as well make the best out of it so we have an airbnb now that we can come back to after working with aircon and it's away from the boat so yeah, go there for the whole day, work on the boat, then come back just to relax and be in aircon. So that is what we have done. We have, we are now enjoying life on the land while we're working on the boat. So yeah, we're in like a house, can have super long showers and um, yeah, we're seeing what land life is like for a little bit, only a month. Then we'll be back on the boat. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights made it all the way to the end of this video thank you so much for watching i hope you've enjoyed and i will see you next week as we continue doing more boat works and i show you what life is like on the hard stand bye